is one section that uh, does believe that, that, that there is some sort of, uh, you know, exuberance, irrational exuberance, as Kotak has put it, and stopped uh, recommending uh, mid-cap stocks uh, in their recent report. Uh, do you align at all with that view or where do you stand on that front? Look, uh, there are two aspects to this, Avni. Uh, first of all, uh, let me tell you this. Having been in markets for 25 years, I can assure you that nobody can predict the direction of markets in the near term. Yeah. Right? So yeah. let's let's take that, uh, uh, you know, with a pinch of salt in terms of uh, predicting levels, etc. The second point, Avni, is that, uh, uh, see, markets do not necessarily peak out when valuations are a bit expensive. I do agree that, in the mid and small cap space, if you look at it as an aggregate, right, the valuations are a bit more expensive than they were probably four months back or even a year back. However, one has to uh, understand how the fundamentals are shaping up. I mean, the fundamentals of mid and small cap companies have never been better. I mean, if you look at the return on equity of some of these companies, if you look at the earnings growth, I mean, they'll be growing earnings at 25, 30%. Of course, this kind of pace may not be sustainable in the future, but hey, we are in a growth market, right? In a growth market, what happens is that often prices run a little bit ahead of valuations and vice versa, fundamentals sometimes run ahead of prices. So uh, when you're looking at the next three to five years, and which is what I believe your most of your viewers who are, you know, probably uh, individual investors are looking at, um, I don't see that much of a cause for worry. I mean, definitely we are not in a bubble zone. I mean, we are in a bull market.